Hello, Dr. Zobel and 627 Fall 17 classmates. This is my final presentation, Web 2.0 Tools for Professional Dog Trainers. My audience is career dog training instructors at a national pro professional membership convention. So many of these professional dog trainers are also entrepreneurs, and as such, they are simultaneously performing their craft, serving clients, and growing a small business. The industry has few resources available to teach professional dog trainers in the use of technology. This series of presentations is designed for uh, trainers to learn at a professional membership annual convention. And my audience there will be typically women 25 to 60 years old who are opinionated independent forces of nature. They are exceedingly practical, they are not fluffy, and they want solid usable information presented well in an entertaining, lively way. They want to walk away with practical tools that they can immediately implement. So as such, my learning goals are going to be to teach the trainers that they have opportunities to enhance the learning that they are giving to their students. First of all, I want to talk to them about the goal of using a flipped classroom. So my tools are going to focus on teaching people outside of class so that inside the classroom when their people are there with their dogs, they can focus on skill-based instruction. All of the theory and concepts that they want to teach their clients can be done outside of class. This will provide a better learning experience because they're teaching people of all different learning styles, all different ages, different skill sets coming in and lots of different personalities. There's really a lot going on and trainers are typically not getting a lot of education on how to be good educators. So I hope to enhance that learning and help them provide a better learning experience for their students, which of course means that more of their clients are going to be happy. As we reach people through technology tools as trainers, we're going to increase our revenue and more happy clients means more customers and therefore our businesses are going to grow and so with these technology tools trainers should be able to grow their businesses and reach a wider audience so my presentations will be in the context of the Association of Professional Dog Trainers Convention. Um, this is an annual conference that serves about a membership of about 5,000 trainers. About six to 800 trainers come to the annual conference every year. And uh, this year it will be held in Memphis, Tennessee. There'll be dog trainers and behaviorists from all over. The goal of the convention is to increase the professional competency through education on animal and human learning, business practice and technology, ethology, and science-based research. The people who come to this are both newcomers and professional trainers who have been at it a while, and all of them need to learn more about human learning and technology. So my presentations are going to really focus on enhancing that part of education. There are three types of presentations available at this conference. There's a main hall lecture speaking to the broad audience, small group breakout lectures that are about 45 minutes in length on a more personal level between 10 to 20 uh, members there and then small group workshops. So the tools that I'm going to use in these various presentations will of course include something along the lines of Prezi where I'll be able to um, have them visually entertained and paying attention and then I'm going to talk about using some of the other tools throughout the different presentations as I go here but here are the five presentations that I hope to make uh, three of them are or four of them are lecture and then one of them is a workshop the first one is create learning experiences pet owners love and my objective is that trainers can provide better learning experiences to build stronger relationships with clients I'll focus on using Twitter in a live chat I've created this Twitter hashtag that's brand new. It's APDT Tech, and we'll be using that in um, during my presentation to provide live action streaming and let them know that this is an easy way to create and engage um, clients outside of class as well as in a live presentation when they're talking to just people who don't have their hands full of leashes. It's going to increase social opportunities and networking as well as build relationships inside and outside of class. Twitter, of course, is accessible to most. It's mobile. Everybody can use it on the go. And you're going to be able to increase business visibility simultaneously with creating more of a community because people can uh, use a hashtag for more than one thing at a time. 
I'm also going to discuss the use of Wii Video so that trainers learn how to use training videos or that they can make training videos commercials. They can do lesson follow up, have a banner on their website that's a video, and of course, vodcasts. Super easy using Wii Video to import videos or music clips and using multiple tracks here. Very um, intuitive. It's easy to use. The entry level is free. An upgrade is only $5 a month, so it's affordable for everyone, and that gets you about 30 minutes of video per month. Uh, there's multiple editing tracks, and it's an intuitively easy to navigate, very simple to export with a multitude of optional uh, places to export to. The third tool that I'll talk about in this first presentation is Screencast-O-Matic. And this is a great tool, probably one of my favorite Web 2.0 tools this term, because it's so easy to use and it has such a variety of uses. You can share your screen during a video chat, create critique video performance, which is great for trainers who are working with remote clients. You can use it to develop a podcast and create audio for video productions. The justification for Screencast-O-Matic is simply that it's free. There's no sign in. There's a giant red button. Trainers are going to really like the simplicity of use and that it has such a variety of uses. So in another presentation, I'd like to talk about growing your business with podcasts. The learning objective here is that trainers can increase their audience and establish themselves as an expert authority by hosting their own show. I think a lot of trainers haven't really thought about this option. The, the tool that I'd like to feature is Spreaker, and it's easy to create a presence on Speaker. You could develop quick tips that you can share with clients, providing follow-up. I like the idea of having a coach in your ear when you're training so that they have step-by-step -step, um, techniques to use with their dogs on the go. With an easy upgrade, you can reward package client with exclusive content that is not available to the public. The justification for Spreaker is that you can it can be used on desktop or mobile. It has a web-based console for live stream re, um, or recording. You can spend just $5 a month and get 45 minutes of broadcasting per month. And again, those upgrades include the ability to create exclusive content for select audience. The pages are ad-free. You can distribute everywhere. And it's just a great tool to grow their business. I want to talk about flipping your classrooms, and this will be another presentation at the conference. And this would be a, a lecture, one of the shorts. And I would, the learning objective is to teach them how to effectively attract and hold an audience through the use of technology tools. I'm going to feature Thinkific for this, and this is going to be a great selling point to teach concepts before the dog comes to class. They can use Thinkific either um, as a standalone course to market on its own, or they can use it as a supplementary material for either private lesson or group class clients. It's effortless follow-up. There's gamification to support that online learning, and clients are going to really enjoy the navigation. In terms of the trainers themselves building courses, it's drag-and-drop design. There's no technical know-how needed. There's a free starting level to make sure that it's something they want to do. And then custom domains are available. There's advanced upselling and bundles. Trainers love bundles because that increases uh, revenue. Instant access to funds, student progress tracking, and then the ability to customize learning designs for offline and online integration. Another short lecture that I'd like to present is using contests to create revenue. And the objective here would be that tech tools blend with social networking to create unique marketing and community building opportunities. And for this, I'm going to feature Instagram with Twitter, and I'll teach how to create a unique hashtag for a contest, encourage cross posting, and then either using a votes or just pick a favorite in class and of course, rewarding a prize. So they can use their sense, my, my business is Sensible Canine, so I have a hashtag for that, and I can create an easy as Canine Happy, and then I can share that simply to Facebook or Twitter or um, some other social media. The justification is that it's super easy to post contents on a contest on a blog or a website. Of course, everybody loves dog pictures. The social networking is intuitive and very common. A lot of trainers are already using it. It would just be another way to build interest. Instagram is so easy to integrate with Twitter and Facebook. And so every share is going to increase their off 
online presence. Some trainers might feel just a little bit overwhelmed by that contest idea, so I would suggest Hootsuite as a way to schedule thematic contests, engage with com customers, and then track their analytics. Again, this is a pretty easy um, tool for trainers to use and has um, a variety of plans, one that I think will fit with just about every budget. Another tool that I want to speak about, another presentation that I would make, and this one would be um, a mind mapping exploration activity. This would be more of a workshop. The learning objective is that they can use mind mapping technology to create without borders and organize without lists. And I'd like to feature wisemapping.com for this. So I would suggest a workshop presentation where people could work in a live brainstorming activity in pairs or small groups and then share what they develop with the larger group. And so we might pick topics such as any of the ones that I have outlined here. Maybe it would be marketing or networking, administration. It could have to do with building curriculum or what have you. And then they can just grow from there and not talking necessarily about tools, but just using wise mapping as a brainstorming tool to grow their business. Justification is that it's free, fast, and simple. That's Wise Mapping's tagline. Uh, drag and do drop design. It's collaborative. They can work remotely with uh, other colleagues. It's web based. You can embed it in blogs or share. It's really easy to import material and export the final product. So, those are some of the ideas that for the use of tech for trainers. And in terms of wrap up, I just like to. Um, Make a note that unless otherwise indicated, most of the photos were by me in this course. And this Prezi was developed as a final project for the 627 Fall 17 Web 2.0 tools at Western Oregon University. I'd like to thank Dr. Greg Sobel for pushing me beyond what I thought I was able to do. Give a little plug for our program here. And thank you all for watching my presentation and I wish you all the best of luck.